we are back. The same spot. We have been here five times this winter. Yeah, we've been here a lot. Why do we keep coming back? It is just a couple minutes before 1.30 and we are on foot and moving. on the trail. We're gonna take a little nap. I just set an alarm for 4.36, it's 4.06. So maybe we'll sleep uh, up to a half hour. But this is right where we're going to um, cut up into the, to the east. We're at 4,300 feet. We just came out of uh, trees. Bushwhack wasn't too bad. Um, I think we found a boulder field here. Five fifty one. We just uh, decided to put the beacons on, turn them on, cause it's kind of a slope, and uh, yeah, just being safe, I guess. It is dark, and we don't know what's above us. You have anything to say? Yeah, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> yeah, I want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi everybody, here we are at around 51, 5200 feet above sea level, still making our way up this pretty steep snow and ice embankment. Up above us we see some water ice and the quality of the snow has been a little bit rough. A lot of it is sliding off in wet loose slides. It's liable to break off in dinner plate like sheets. So we've been struggling to gain ground and it's been slow going, but the sun's coming up. So that's a good silver lining, wouldn't you say? Uh, waterfall, this ice here, and thought it looked pretty cool, but we were both in snowshoes. So, um, yeah, I'm making the switch now. Anthony already did it.
other side of this rock formation, there should be like a more mellow ramp. And then on the other side of the ramp, it looks like there's more rock. Well, Anthony got to climb some ice, water ice slabs, waterfalls. Is that right? I climbed a little bit of it, but I got so far behind on time, like, because, um, well, I was in snowshoes and I thought I could snowshoe up this snow that was really ice underneath. And I got kind of stuck in a spot. It felt like it took a long time out away. Um, it was a little bit of a drainer, but I think we're getting back on track. It can be a little mentally taxing when you stop like that for so long. Yeah. That's fine. It is a really beautiful day out, isn't it? Yeah. Where, is this man? Where are those 20 mile an hour winds? Yeah, they're, they're not here. I don't know, what do they listen to? Rock and roll. <laughs> we had a much needed break. Ate some food. I uh, got to sit here in the sun, which was nice. crack line.
that it? What? I think I see the smart move. It's all over now. Wow, it is finished. Wow, how do you feel? Hungry? No, it was like a really good day. Yeah, I think it was good. I was kind of stressed in the beginning because of our pace. Um, and uh, yeah, I had to fight to stay positive. But given these 20 hour plus days, that's sort of an inevitability. I think it's good like how we're sort of opposite in, in the pace of the day, right? You're always faster than me on the way down. And that challenges me. Yeah, except Ross was running on the way down. He was going <laughs> super fast. So I, I honestly don't know what he's talking about. He's like really fast. <laughs>